Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mike's stock car. Or is it Stakar? It, it's stock car, it's a car pun. Of course it's a car pun. Every car's name is a car pun, aside from the names of like some of the main characters. Honestly though, think about it. Almost all the Piston Cup racers, aside from like Bruce Miller and a couple others, have pun names. Uh, most background characters in the Cars movies do. But most of the main characters have normal names, like Sally, Luigi, Guido, Ramon. Of course, Fillmore's a pun, a car pun. And Sarge and Sheriff have names that are very on the nose in accordance to uh, what they do. Sarge is, is in the army, was in the army, and Sheriff is a sheriff. Red is painted red. Lizzie, that's another normal name. Of course, you have other cars like uh, Tow Mater, Tow for Tow Truck, Finn McMissile, that's uh, obviously Missile. I don't know, it's something that I've always wondered about. Like, why do the normal, why do the main characters have normal names and everybody else, like Cruz, has a car pun name? I don't know, kind of interesting to me. Anyway, guys, let's get started with the review. You no, know, we went on a little tangent there. I just thought it'd be something interesting to mention he's part of the Dynaco 400 series and he is Lee Revkin's pity I actually have a Thailand Lee Revkin that I'm Lee Revkin's that I've uh, been waiting to review for about a month after the Dynaco 400 a tiebreaker race is needed to determine the winner of the Piston Cup I feel like I'm reviewing a car from the Dynaco 400 series every other week so you guys have seen the back of the package before we got Marlin Dave alternators Greg and Lee right there the nice thing about Mike here, and we'll probably compare them when I do the review on uh, Thailand Lee, is that he's actually, Mike here is actually closer in color, I believe, to the original Lee Revkins as compared to the more pinkish Thailand uh, variant. Actually, that might not be entirely true. Yeah, I think he's closer to the Thailand variant. So here he is, out of the package, with some tires, oh, and the, uh, the little tool cart, which I really like. It's really great to be getting new pitties from the first Cars movie, finally. But what's even greater is that Mattel's actually been switching up the mold that they use for the pitties. Megan Shifter was the tall pity body, Brian Imager was the short pity body, and Mike Stockart is the wide pity body. So it's really nice to be getting a bit of variety. At first I thought they might just do them all as the tall pity body, but it's just like the old days, 10 years ago. Man, 2009 was 10 years ago. And then they would switch up the bodies for the pities. So as you can see, he is definitely not the same color as Lee Revkins, instead he is the same color as the Thailand variant. He's got a bit of a sad grin, maybe he's a bit nervous. On the side we've got the Transberry Juice logo. What I really like about this, and I should probably take this time to mention uh, about the tool card as well, is that they use the full Transberry Juice logo, not just the words and that little pump thing. They have the bubbles and the stripe uh, that goes behind it, which is a really nice touch. They do the full logo, the full design of Lee's hood. And while we're on the subject of the tool cart, I just want to bring up the tires, which are an accurate color. Even though Lee Rifkins doesn't really have that interesting of a wheel color. Now his little wheels down there, and the little pity kind of belt looking thing. Up on top you can see, this is facing the wrong way, there you go. The Transberry Juice writing up there. The swirl in the background is kind of a darker color as is the pump and the bubbles. Yes, for a bit more contrast. It would have been nice if the Transberry Juice was written in a darker color as well, but that is, it is a darker color than uh, usual, just to kind of stand out a bit more, I believe. Either that or it's actually just the same exact color, just outlined with black to make the letters stand out. Not quite sure. And there's the base. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know which of these three new pities, Megan, Brian, or Mike is your favorite in the comments. I think I might actually have to go with Mike since I've said this in the past, Brian Imager was a little bit of a disappointing car for me. And Megan isn't really, Megan's got kind of a generic color scheme with that yellow. So I've got to say Mike is probably my favorite. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Bye now.